Stan Jabalisco here, proprietor and operator of Amateur Radio Station, W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations, to demonstrate something for you. Uh, this is an SWR power meter. Uh, I don't remember the name of the company. Autech Research. Autech Research WM1. Computing meter. It's set to measure peak power with a full-scale reading of 20 watts. And it'll show you the SWR and the RF power. Now, I have this radio, the ICOM IC746 Pro, tuned to the 20-meter band where this antenna uh, that I have here is naturally resonant. So let's send a little test signal here. Note the SWR just about 1.2 to 1 and the power about 10 watts. And you can believe that power reading with a low SWR on a meter like this. Now this ICOM has memorized all of the antenna reactance and resistance values for all of the bands from 14 megahertz up through 28 megahertz. So I can just switch the band and the ICOM is already going to be tuned. So it's going to deliver that same 10 watts now on 18 megahertz into the antenna, but watch the SWR and watch the power reading. Five to one SWR and a greatly exaggerated power reading, but the actual power that the radio tells me I'm putting out is still 10 watts. Let's go to 21 megahertz and try that band. Same deal, except the SWR is even worse. Now this antenna is 22 feet high, and it has, although it has a capacitor at the base to resonate it on 20 meters, 22 feet is an exact half wavelength on this band, 15 meters, so it's going to have no reactance to tune out, but an extremely high radiation resistance, and that would explain the extreme standing wave ratio. Now let's go to the 24.2. 945 megahertz in the 12 meter band. Not quite so bad a standing wave ratio there. So the power isn't quite as much exaggerated. Notice, do you notice a pattern here? The worse the SWR, the more the power uh, reading of a watt meter gets exaggerated and that is typical of RF watt meters because they they can't really tell the difference between the forward and reflected power they see them both as power and they register them both as power so they kind of, it looks like uh, this thing thinks I'm running more than 10 watts now we're on 28 megahertz Now that's interesting, because the SWR, it still says it's 5 to 1, but the power reading is only slightly exaggerated. Let me check the ICOM radio. Well, yes, uh, it still says 10 watts. Just out of curiosity, I don't even know if this uh, meter is meant to work on 50 megahertz, but I'm just curious to see what it'll tell me on that band. Now, 2 to 1 SWR here at the transmitter. Um, it's probably about 3 to 1 or 3.5 to 1 at the antenna, but I, I can get a... a I can trim that antenna and make it resonate there, but notice the, the compare the power readings with the SWR readings. If you didn't do that the first time around on this video, just go back and play it again, Stan. <laughs> W1GV Whiskey One Good Vibrations signing off. Hope you learned something here. I learned something, and that's that the, the exaggeration of the power doesn't always uh, 
isn't always the same, even if the SWR is. It must have something to do with resistance and reactance that's way above my head at this point. Antenna guru or not, there's a limit to anybody's smarts, and I know my limits pretty well. And as I get older, the bar gets lower. 73 for now, and so long.